Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be talking to you about EDC or everyday carry. Now EDC is something that my son got me into a couple of years ago and basically inside this little pouch here, inside this little bag, is probably everything I would need to get myself out of minor trouble in the event of maybe being hurt when out and about or if something breaks or if I need to cut something or repair something. And this is a small bag that can be put in another bag, like a rucksack, and also put onto a belt. And inside here, as you'll see, are lots of different items. And all of these items are things that have got a use for me when I'm out and about, that I might never need, but would be really disappointed if I didn't have this on me and something went wrong or I needed something to help repair something that's broken, for example. So I'm going to go through this now and show you each item I've got in my ADC and explain why I've got it in there. Now, first of all, the bag. Well, the bag actually, this actually came from Timu, believe it or not. It's a really rugged, solid, double zipped bag. It can be clipped onto a belt. It can also be clipped onto a jacket, or it can be hung. And as you can see, it's about the size, a little bit bigger than my hand. But there's a number of items in here, and we're gonna go through them one by one. So first of all, let's put this aside and I'll explain what I've got in here. Now, first of all, here is a little torch or a flashlight. This is a pencil sized torch. This isn't rechargeable. I'm not planning on using it all the time. It has a AAA battery in it, but it's nice and bright. Uh, cost a couple of pounds, but if you're out and about, power cut, something like that, having a torch is gonna to be really helpful, especially in the winter. Next, I've got a lighter. Now, a lighter can be used for obvious things like starting a fire, but mixed along with this glue stick here, I now have a method of repairing things because by burning some glue off of this glue stick, dabbing onto something that's broken and pushing them together until this goes hard, that means now I don't need to carry any super glue, but I have got a form of starting fire or ignition, and I've also got a way of repairing something with glue. So a glue stick and a lighter. Next, I've got a knife, which I've got clipped in here just with a cable tie. This is a legal knife at the moment in the United Kingdom. It's a flip knife that doesn't lock, so it's therefore within the requirements of UK law. It's got a fairly sharp blade, and obviously a knife is always helpful if you're out about and something needs to be cut, or you're trying to re repair or cut a dressing, something along those lines and the string as well, but I'll show you in a second. Now string is string. Lots of things you can do with a piece of string. You could make a temporary washing line. You could uh, repair something, tie something up, tie something back together again, um, and it takes up very little space. So a couple of meters of string can come in very handy to have when you're out and about. Next up, I have this. It's not a pen, it's actually a screwdriver. Inside here, if I just open it up, you can see we've got a Phillips bit here, and if I turn that around, we have a flat blade screwdriver, small ones. And then on the other end here, we've got Phillips again, slightly bigger, and a flat head screwdriver, again, slightly bigger. I have actually used this on holiday once. We were in a caravan uh, on the holiday, a static caravan, and there was a fault with one of the electric sockets in the middle of the night, it kept switching the electricity on and off. So I was able just to go in there, tighten up the connections, I could hear buzzing, and we were able to continue sleeping at two o'clock in the morning, so that was quite handy. Right, next up, we have a permanent marker, or a Sharpie. This is actually an Amazon Basics copy of the Sharpie. And obviously, you're gonna need that a pen at some point. You might wanna write down some details of somebody who's hit someone else's car or leave a note for somebody. This one being permanent means you could even write on a wall if you were in a desperate situation and needed help. And then on the end of the pen here, I have a piece of electrical shrink wrap. That can come in handy for perhaps mending a faulty mobile phone 
charging cable if the end has started to fray. Um, various uses you might want to use a bit of shrink wrap for, so I just keep that over the end of the pen, out of the way. Next, a pair of tweezers. These come in handy more often than you might think. Obviously they're good for getting splinters out of your hands and things like that, or for trying to pick something up that's very fine, or if you've got a fish bone maybe caught in your mouth somewhere, you could use it to get the bone out. So they're actually very helpful to have, and these ones are made out of, uh, I think these are actually made out of titanium, these ones. Next, I have one of these magnetic telescopic magnets. So it's, it's a magnet, it's telescopic, and it's this one I believe is, uh, yeah, this is uh, 70 centimeters long, and it has a reasonable size magnet on the end there, which could be very helpful. For example, if you were to drop your keys down a drain, you might be able to use this to retrieve them. Or if you're doing some work on your car, maybe changing the battery, and you drop one of the nuts, you can poke this down, and retrieve the nut just by picking it up with the with the magnet uh, like that and it doesn't take up a lot of space either next up I have a spare mobile phone charging cable just a short one USB to USB C and I also have here a USB to USB my, uh, micro and they're generally the two most common leads for IU, so I keep those in this EDC, so I've always got a spare in case I go on holiday and my standard mobile phone charging cable breaks, I've got a backup there, one of each. Next, wrapped up here, I have some cotton buds. They can be used for various things. You might be able to put some alcohol on there to clean a cut or to retrieve something out of a body part that uh, something's got stuck in. Uh, obviously you're not supposed to use these for your ears, but people do. Handy to have to use as little swabs. Now moving on further in to the EDC, I have this very small nail care kit. In here we have another pair of tweezers. I don't need them, but it came with a kit. A small pair of scissors, two nail clippers, and various files and picks, toothpick, and some other bits and pieces to help with nail care. Particularly helpful if you get something caught underneath one of your nails or if your nail breaks and you need to chop a bit off before it you know, peels back and gets the skin, which isn't very nice, very uncomfortable. This is a small little kit. It cost a couple of pounds. And again, that actually came from Timu, that one. Next, we have a waiter's friend, a bottle opener. I like to have a beer every now and then, it's known. So uh, here I can obviously undo the uh, beer bottle cap if I need to. And I can also have a small little serrated edge here for taking the top off around a wine bottle. And then obviously we've got the corkscrew itself. Waiter's friend is a really helpful thing to have. And uh, this probably gets used more than anything else when I'm going away on weekends or we go camping or we go, go away. So yeah, always handy to have. Next up. I have in here at the bottom a couple of earbuds. Really helpful to have, especially if you're going away. You never know, you might be in a noisy hotel room or an Airbnb. A couple of earbuds might just help you get a good night's sleep. Moving on to this side, I'll take all of this out. Just some emergency or backup bits and pieces that you might need if you're caught out somewhere. So I've got a couple of small cable ties. Again, they can be useful. But we've got some medication here, some pain relief. We have some emergency cash because we never know when we might need some cash. The cash machines aren't working or there aren't any. We have got an iodine prepare pad for cleaning cuts. We've also got an alcohol prep pad for cleaning cuts some plasters or bandages in case we get a cut. One size there and a different size there. And then the last two items I've got here are some glass cleaner, little wipes here for your spectacles if you wear them or for your mobile phone or something like that. They just fold up and go inside. And then finally, a double-sided sticky pad by 3M, which can come in handy for multiple things. You could cut this to make it small if you want to stick for two things together. Something falls off the wall or something along those lines a nice piece of double-sided pad. So I hope you found all this useful. 
Uh, this whole EDC cost me around £12 in total and it's got everything I need if I should get caught out at a mountain of out. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.